Pentheus, the tragic king of Thebes, had always been known for his stubbornness and arrogance. He had always considered himself to be an intelligent and wise ruler, much like his father Echion, who had been a prominent figure in the founding of Thebes. Pentheus was the son of Echion and Agave, the daughter of the goddess of harmony, and as such, he had the potential to become a great ruler himself. However, his pride and arrogance often got in the way, and he refused to believe in the god of wine in celebration, Dionysus. He banned his worship in Thebes, which caused the god to become angry with him. Dionysus had been seeking revenge on Pentheus for this, and he got his chance when Pentheus ignored his warnings. Pentheus was lured by Dionysus and his followers, the Bacchae, to spy on their wild celebrations on Mount Scythian. Unknowingly, he dressed as a woman to blend in with the Bacchae. However, Dionysus had something else planned for Pentheus. He made Pentheus believe that he had a chance to capture the Bacchae, but instead, he was captured by them. Pentheus was brutally torn apart by his own mother, Agave, under the influence of Dionysus. It was a tragic end for a king who had so much potential, but his pride and ignorance had cost him dearly. The story of Pentheus serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of pride and ignorance. It shows that one's downfall can be caused by their own actions and that we should always be wary of the consequences of our choices. The story remains an important part of Greek mythology and continues to be told to this day. Pentheus was once the mighty king of Thebes, but he made a grave mistake. He banned the worship of Dionysus, the son of his aunt Semele. When Dionysus discovered this, he sought revenge. During the Bakshik rites, Dionysus disguised Pentheus, luring him to spy on the women. But the women mistook him for a wild beast and tore him limb from limb. Even his mother, Agave, was amongst the group who savagely killed him. Pentheus' name, Man of Sorrows, perfectly represented his tragic fate. In Euripides' retelling of the myth, Dionysus caused all of Thebes' women, Pentheus' mother, and ants to rush to Mount Scythian in a backsheek frenzy. Pentheus then imprisoned Dionysus, but to no avail, his chains broke, and the jail doors opened. Dionysus drove the women to tear Pentheus apart. On the other hand, Ovid's version provides additional details. After ignoring Tiresias's warning, Pentheus laments over his kingdom. Then, his guards arrest a sailor who confirms the divinity of Bacchus. Pentheus tries to deal with Bacchus himself, but the Bacchanalia-goers mistake him for a wild boar, leading to his death. Pentheus' uncle Polydorus succeeded him as king, and his wife gave birth to a son named Menesius. Many years later, Menesius became the grandfather of Oedipus and father of Creon and Jocasta. Although they could not bring Pentheus back, his memory lived on through his descendants. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.